Is today <laughs> Monday or Tuesday? It's Monday. <laughs> I thought it was Tuesday, yeah. And here we are in Times Square. What day even is it? We are here with Grace Shaw, also known as Mall Rat. Hello. Hello. <laughs> here we are. How's New York? Tell me just, you yeah, know. Yeah, good. Just just got here. I just got here like uh, an hour ago. Oh my so, you haven't really seen a lot of the sites or anything? No, I just went to my hotel, dropped my bags off, and then came here. So, uh, Do you like New York? Well, I haven't spent much time here. I've been here a few times, but it's been so brief. Yeah. But I think I like it. You guys got like, <laughs> you gotta do all the stuff. You gotta see the Statue of Liberty. You gotta yeah. go to the store. I haven't done it. I just doesn't, haven't done yeah. those things yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One of the things I read, you called Brisbane subtly... Bogan? Oh yeah, I said that once and it's haunting me. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I have no idea what that means, but oh, I want to know. Okay, so Bogan is like Australian's version of redneck. Oh. So, <laughs> so it's subtly redneck. Yeah, it's not completely redneck, but it is. <laughs> but uh, explain that to me more though. Like how we're a capital city and we have, you know, a CBD, so okay. we don't look like a country town. Yeah. But in a lot of ways, we're like 10 years behind. Mm. But I also love it because I'm from there. Right. But I also am like, like some distance from it. And when did you leave? When was the first? Um, well, I moved out when I was 18 to okay. uh, Melbourne mm. in Australia. So I, I feel more at home there. Oh, really? Yeah. But yeah, I can't bag on Brisbane. I do really love it. Yeah. And you go back <laughs> and visit, I guess. Yeah. Whenever I have shows. I well, and you started playing in, what, year 11, right? So still when you were in... Yeah, so writing songs I started writing songs there, but I didn't do any shows until just after I had graduated. And so how did that, how did it start in the first place? I started listening to this guy called All Day, and he's mm. an Australian rapper. And then I went to one of his shows when I was uh, 14 or 15, I think. And then when I was there, I had this crazy feeling that I would be at airports with him. Airports, like like literally airports? Yeah. Oh, okay. And I was like, he's my favorite rapper. That would be cool. Um, how, like in what world is that possible right. and then I was like maybe I should do music I don't know what I want to do when I graduate maybe I should write songs and maybe I can tour with him yeah. and then so that's why I started because I wanted mm -hmm. to make that happen and then my first tour was with him and that's amazing yeah we're touring again in like September August September October we're yeah. coming back here he's my housemate now too oh my really God. like it's it's bizarre how yeah what like, like that. incredible wish fulfillment like that you yeah, just yeah I think you have to trust trust your intuition yeah that was like the biggest lesson from that and was it, tell me about we've got a new song Charlie right coming yes. out on the seventh yeah right and that's named after your dog I understand. yeah it is so tell me everything about your dog what's My his dog breed what's he like he's so beautiful he's a Labrador um he's about 10 or 11. I miss him yeah <laughs> me too I, I wish he was here with us I know but yeah he's so beautiful he's camera shy mm. he's loves walks loves peanut butter oh. yeah he's a good dog <laughs> and so what's the song about besides Charlie it's not really about him at all it just mentions him in like the bridge okay. and I need a name so I was like I'll just call it name it after him um, but it's kind of hard to say what song's about because sure. that's not really how I write. Like, I'm not one of those people that um, plans ahead and is like, this is what I'm going to write about today. Right. Sometimes it takes a little while to and some, like, retrospect to figure out what it is about. Okay. So then what, what is sort of, I guess, like, what vibe were you going for then if there was not a specific theme? I wasn't even going for a vibe, but no. when I listen back <laughs> to it now, I'm like, I, I'm, I don't know. It's not... I talk about my family in it, mm -hmm. but it's not about my family. And okay. it's, I talk about my dog, but it's not about my dog. But I think the things that keep coming up in it are like unconditional love. Mm. I think that's maybe what it's about. That's lovely. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. And then that's going to be part of a new EP that's dropping, what? In Dude. like a month. In like a month? Yeah, that's so it's called Driving Music. Okay, it shifts the topic. I understand you love Kanye West. Yep. I want to know more about that because he's a very like controversial figure right now, you know? Yeah, he is right now. And I don't agree with everything that he says, but I love the way he thinks. Okay. And I agree with most things he says. Really? With obviously a, f a few obvious exceptions. <laughs> right, right. But uh, yeah, and I think he's always been outspoken and, and spoken on things that are really important that everyone else was too afraid to kind of mm. talk about. Like that's, he's been doing that for like 10, 15 years. Like it's right. not new. Like, that's Kanye West and, like, yeah. just his personality, and I really admire that, and I think we need more people that think and talk like that. 
So is it more the public figure he's created for himself? Or also, music? his music okay. is my favorite music. Okay, it's your favorite music. <laughs> yeah, wow. all, I can't choose a favorite album. Like, yeah. They're all amazing to me. I like Kanye West just... As album. a whole. Wow. Yeah, and would it. you say that's one of your, your biggest influences in terms of your music? Or? Yeah. For my like creative decisions, I look to him. But f- for my music, I think I'm more in- more influenced by songwriter mm. things. Like... Like country music, I would even really? say, yeah, like Johnny Cash and Dolly mm. Parton, and um, the OC soundtrack is like weirdly it always the comes OC. up in conversation because I listened to it so much. We when I, I was little, love the OC. Oh my god, <laughs> we had like all of the CDs for yeah. every season, and it's um like it's an amazing that's soundtrack. a strong soundtrack in yeah. retrospect. I've never really thought of it. It's but that's really good. good. It's really good. They like. It's got like the dandy Warhols yeah. and I can kind of see that in your music actually. Like that that checks out to me. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I really love it. Yeah. So then the name Mallrat, that's obviously very specific. Uh, yeah. When when did you make that decision? Why? Like what? I, it's honestly not an interesting story. Not at all. No. <laughs> I give, give it to me in like five words. I'm like quick. Um, <laughs> I needed a name. Yeah. And Grace was taken. That's like the synopsis, and then Mallrat. Fit me. I, I was like that. a suburban yeah. teenager. <laughs> and then, yeah. I'm all right. I'm all right. yeah. So, new EP mm-hmm. coming in a month. New song, Charlie. Wednesday, <laughs> August 7th. <laughs> thank you. For thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>